So the question for today is how to get attention, and it's always a good question for any, any firm, is how to get noticed and get people looking at you. And if you're in a place like this, we're in Queenstown here and you've got the Remarkables, um, it is naturally spectacular and, and breathtaking, and it really grabs your attention pretty easily, right? It's, it's, it's pretty easy to get attention. It's, it's a world-class destination in New Zealand, which is a world-class destination in itself. So if you've got a world-class product like this, it's pretty easy for people to see you've got a world-class product, and it's just really a case of um, nothing. You don't have to do anything. People come. Now, if you're obviously if you're um, running a firm, and it's a bit harder to tell um, that you have a world-class product, or maybe... Uh, maybe you do a great job, but it's always hard. At how do I communicate that, that we do a great job? And the answer is it's really pretty hard. And yes, your audience is highly sophisticated and understand what you do and how you do it and how hard it is, and they appreciate the results you get, um, which most people don't work in. Um, so what you've got to do is forget trying to have the world's greatest product and have people just come to you like this you, you're not really doing a product but what, what's great to have is kind of if you can create little miracles so if you think about what Jesus did he uh, I think he had about something like 21 miracles that he performed you know walking on water and breaking the loaves and feeding 2,000 people clever little tricks that he did that got people's attention and um, it's really it's a really handy thing to do when you're a marketer is to to be able to have miracles that you do so my question for you is and maybe you can't say your, my whole product is a miracle in itself but maybe there's an aspect of what you do that you can break it down and say okay here's here's something where i could do a little miracle here a magic trick right that gets attention and you don't need a lot and it doesn't need to be big but it needs to be an impressive demonstration or it needs if you've seen the blue blocker ads where people just put on the, the glasses and everyone goes wow that's incredible it's kind of like a magic trick. They they uh, they see things that no one else could see, and it's um, even though it's not a demonstration for the audience, the reaction is kind of an amazing demonstration. Sometimes um, 3D, if you've got 3D um, 3D goggles um, for your for your buildings and stuff like that, that can be like a magic trick. But anyway, so you know, is can can you perform a magic trick? Some people, for some people, it's a quick sketch on something, and that that's fraught with danger. But doing a quick sketch could be a magic trick. The three D goggles could be a magic trick. What else can you do? Can you get people through um, through compliance and through regulations through the through the local government? Can you get people through that quick? Um, that's probably not a great magic trick um, because we want something that gets clients to you as opposed to actually doing the job. But you know, what are the magic tricks you can do? And have a think about it. And I'd love to know if you come up with some magic tricks because I'd love to share all the architect magic tricks um, on a page like this just to inspire ideas. Okay, so by all means have a world-class product, but otherwise have some small magic tricks that people talk about and give you attention.